The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve. Ro oh, wait, this is the uh, sorry about that, folks. I was doing the uh, uh, update. I am not. I'm actually doing the live show. So welcome to the December 9th, the terrific Thursday edition of today's Trader Z show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and, make, when you and I make that one little two by four shift, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 8 o'clock in the morning. That's right. If you're listening at the normal time, same time frame slot, thanks so much for doing so. We'll make this show as pertinent as we can for you today. Uh, but if you are listening live, well, you know what that means. We would love to hear from you. So you can give us a call at 877-927-6648. Can't give us a call, but you are listening live between 8 and 9. You can always send me an email. Send it to steve at tfnn.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. And in our Tiger's Den, well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Thursday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, we've got U.S. indices uh, futures, that is, uh, trading lower. The Dow futures down by 115. The NASDAQ off 53. This ES is off 14. The Russell's down 13. So six tenths of a percent to the downside for the Russell. That's the leader. Spot Volatilix is poking its head back above its 50 day exponential moving average. That's something you're going to want to watch come day's end. Over in Asia last night, a bit of a mixed bag. The Hang Seng and the Shanghai were up about uh, 1%, a little over 1% in the case of the Hang Seng. The Nikkei was down a half a percent, 135. All three of those still want to move higher. Over in uh, Germany uh, right now, you've got the DAX down 37. In the UK, it's off 27 points. Gold is back 10 bucks. Trade out at 1775. Silver's off 45 cents. That's a 2% move to the downside. Trade out at 2197. Uh, you've got the 30-year uh, Treasury. She's up 13 ticks, trading at 161.07. And the U.S. dollar trading out at 96.13. Let's go take a look at our nine-panel market update chart. I usually do that for the market update. But just to give us a quick overview as to where we're at uh, for some of the more important instruments. Up in the upper left-hand corner, you got the ES Mini. Up in the upper right-hand corner, you got the NQ. So we know about these two equity future contracts. And I can report that it's the same for the other two. Each of them are up towards resistance, the top of those daily profiles. So in the case of the ES Mini, you know, this is like it's a, it's like, a, you know, second in goal. We're up against the goal line. Now, the goal line stance for the ES Mini is got 47.17 to 47.40. So, you know, that's a 23-point spread there. The top of the weekly profile, that's resistance, that's at 47.40. The top of the daily is at 47.17. So the question is, price has made its way all the way back to the top. Uh, will price now move lower? Well, if the spot volatility, which yesterday closed below its 50-day exponential moving average, again, the 50-day right now is printing out at 2032. That might change by a penny or two during the day. It might be a little bit different at uh, 110 in the afternoon. But if price is trading below it, so if we get two consecutive closes below that key level, that's the 50-day, then that's going to suggest that the spot volatility should make its way down to the lower Bollinger Band in the 1518 level. What happens if price closes above 20? 32 today and right now we're trading at uh, 2051 then that says that yesterday's break was a false breakdown and that would then signal more likely than not that the es mini would pull back now the first key level of support for the es mini you can't see it on this chart is 4667 the second key level will be 4649 that's the center of that structure and then below that if you did see a close below 4649 especially combined with the spot volatilics above the 50 day that would be signaling to move back to either the 4504 or 4537 level 
So the spot politics is going to be one of those charts you want to watch today. The NQ right now, what you can't see is prices testing its key level of support. That's its oscillator and change. Now we'll switch over to those charts momentarily. The U.S. dollar index, it just simply is consolidating in between its profiles. Gold here, you can see, so gold's resistance level, pretty clear. It's the center of its bullish structure weekly profile. And that's at 1788.20. If we get a close above 1788.20, well, one, we would get a move up to 1802. More likely, we would get a move into that descending trend line in the 1860-ish type area out there. Silver right now is testing the bottom of its bullish structured weekly profile. So it should find support right about here. The low so far is 2184. The bottom of that uh, profile, the weekly profile is 2182. Um, we'll take a look at the intraday chart, see if there's any kind of signals there. Lights we crude has found resistance, very much like the ES and the NQ and the Dow and the Russell 2000 at the top of their daily profile. So maybe these are in sync here. The resistance level for lights we crude is up at 72.51. She's trading right now at 71.52. Natural gas looks hopeless, at least at this stage of the game, although I will say I see three slightly higher lows but what this needs is a bullish reversal candle to confirm a buy the d point we are not there yet if we take a look at the 30-year treasury in fact ruby is asking about the 30-year treasury ruby that's on your right hand side so what we know is there's an a to b equals cd to the upside that completed but what we didn't get is a bearish reversal candle so for me it is not a completed uh sell the d point pattern out there nonetheless Price yesterday closed below the center of a new bearish structured profile. That should have held its support. Price right now is bouncing up to that level. That's at 162.27. If price does not close above 162.27, we're likely going to see that 30-year Treasury make its way down to the bottom of the profile, and that's at 161.02. It could if it closes below that ruby, then we'd be looking at a move back to about the 159.12 area out there. So what's really key for the 30-year Treasury, and again, it's we have several markets that are kind of like looking over the edge, so to speak. Are they going to jump? Is the ES, the NQ, the Dow, the Russell going to take out resistance, the top of their profiles out there? Well, we really have a similar kind of situation with the 30-year Treasury in that it closed below that bearish structured profile. If price remains below the center of that, that's at the 163.14 level, that improves the odds that price likely heads down into that 161.02 area. At least that would be its first target. So, Ruby, I hope that helps you out with regard to the 30-year Treasury out there and everybody else with regard to the general markets. Now, we're going to go switch off of this set of charts here. And we're going to go take a look at our daily, well, my daily white background equity future panel. So here what you'll be looking at is in the ES. So we know that everything, well, we don't know that everything. Now you can take a look at the bottom charts, the YM and the Russell 2000. So both of them made their way up to the top of their profiles, resistance. That's where the sellers are. And now what's unfolding here this is really the key area the first key levels of support will be those oscillator and change line now they differ in all four of these when i say differ with regard to distance as to where price is at now and where those lines are so for example in the upper right hand corner the nq you can see that price is testing that level so the nq and the russell 2000 at the bottom right both of those are testing key levels of support as we speak if price closes below those areas that would suggest to us a further retracement in the case of the russell 2000 it would be giving us a fairly clear signal that its intent is to move back to 2187. Folks, we'll come back and we'll finish off these charts and start taking a look at some instruments that have been requested. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value 
or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. So 817 in the morning and at 817, as we take a look at the four equity future contracts, we can see the NQ is testing support, as is the Russell 2000. Those are the oscillator and change lines. So those are the levels that have to fail initially in order to suggest that we see movement lower. And of course, we need to take a look at the uh, intraday charts to see what their signals are. Now, the Dow equity future contract, which has been the big mover and shaker over the last uh, week or so, um, it's the one that says that price should pull back. And it's oscillator and change line changed colors yesterday. When that line changes colors, then what we typically see is price and that line catch up to each other. Now, it would be the test of that line. If there's a test and rejection, that becomes bullish. Now, what that would mean is if price hasn't already gotten up to 36,105, that's its TD9 count breakdown level. If there's a rejection of that oscillator and change line in the Dow, that's where price would target. Now, granted, it's got resistance at the 35,900 area, the top of its uh, daily profile. So we know where the sellers reside between 35,900 and 36,105. Um, the ES Mini is the strongest of the four right now. The ES Mini doesn't have that message. Price is above its oscillator and change on at 46.67. That's the key level of support that you'll want to watch throughout the day. And certainly at 119, depending on where price is trading in relation to that, uh, to that, that'll be providing you with a uh, ton of information out there. So let's do this here. We've got a number of requests that have come in. So I want to begin getting to those so that uh, uh, don't run out of time. Now, there's a few that came in from yesterday. I believe there were two from yesterday. So give me a moment here, if you would. I need to just switch to panels. And so I don't recall who asked for what, but there was a request yesterday to take a look at XBI. So let's pull up the XBI chart. This XBI is uh, what? That is the uh, biotech, I believe, for, but let me just make sure here, for the uh, S&P XBI, if I'm not mistaken, but I could easily be mistaken. That is, yeah, that's the S&P for the uh, for the biotech so here's we take a look at this what we can see here is that this has a uh, confirmed by the D point that was confirmed with this gap to the upside that was from a couple of days ago on December the 7th price is trading with inside a bearish structured profile so what you're looking for here your resistance level where the sellers reside is at 117.81 your price can take out 117.81 price likely go likely likely goes and heads up to 123.17, both the bottom and center of its weekly profile. So it's nice that the daily confirmed a bottom while on the monthly chart, that's your very right-hand panel, 
Price was pulling back to test support, 108.06. As I pull over X beyond the white background charts, is there any additional information to help us? This was also a TD9 count bottom. If price can clear the resistance level of that daily profile, then we're looking to move up to about 128.21. That's a TD9 count breakdown area. A close above that would suggest a change in trend is underway. So that's what I see when I take a look at XBI. I hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for waiting a day. There was also a request to take a look at the ARQQ. Again, I don't recall what the request was for, top or bottom, what's it doing. But here's what we do know. Price is below support on the daily time frame. That was its bullish structured profile. Boy, the next level of profile support, because this instrument hasn't been around long that long, uh, is at 1470 and that is the bottom of the weekly profile so we're not going to stop there because we know there's other levels of support how do we know that well we know that now we take a look at the daily chart because we can see where price broke out from so this forms a top a roads momentum indicator top and now with price below those daily profile levels arqq is likely targeting 20.02 that's the message from the daily time frame the weekly time frame chart does not have a message like that and there's not enough data for us to really go in there and do much further work so what should you do what you would do is right now the signal is that this should pull back to 2002 if we get some other information and so be it uh, as price is approaching that level should it approach that level then go down the short-term time frame charts 30 minutes 65 130 195 look for bottoming signals if you see those then you've got the uh, signal to go ahead and fire away and that's what we see when we take a look at the Arquit Quantum Inc. ETF out there. The next request coming in, uh, the, I believe that was this morning, and that was to take a look at IBM. So again, I don't recall what the request was because uh, the I, I must get, uh, and I'm not kidding you, thousands each day of email. So that's why I ask when you do write in to put radio show question, then it's easier for me to go right to it. But with regard to IBM, yesterday was bar number eight of a TD nine count. And that bar number eight it was right at the TD nine count breakdown resistance. So IBM is suggesting the potential for a short term top that either has formed or will form in the next two trading sessions. So today is Thursday. So by Monday, we may be looking at a short term top or some type of top inside of IBM. If I take a quick peek and see what IBM is doing in the pre market out here, give me a moment. Let's just get over to this chart. Go to IBM, see where it's trading at. <clears throat> Last trade. Well, you actually have to type in the correct symbol, Steve-O. Uh, let's try that one more time. There we go, IBM. Trading out at 122.70. So it is trading just slightly lower. Now, in order, this has to form bar number nine today. It looks like it will easily be able, or it looks like it'll be able to do that. In order to do that, it needs to close above, price must close above 118.84. So IBM on a daily basis says, hey, be careful. You may have a short-term top that has or may form. On a further move higher out here, what IBM would need to overcome is 124.36. That's its red oscillator and change line. If price can overcome that, it's got resistance at 126.50, and above that, it's back on its merry way to the upside. But right now, the daily chart says just be careful out there with regard to IBM. The, last, the next request coming in was to take a look at, uh, what was it to take a look at? Oh, I don't think I, oh, those are the new ones. Those are the fresh emails that I've got. So give me a moment to go back to those. This one coming in, whoops. Um, this one coming in from Michael W. Mike in Harrisburg, Virginia. Oh, Mike wanted to take a look at IBM. Perfect. Okay. So, Mike, we've got that. Uh, you know what to look for there. So, thanks so much for the request. I guess that came in last night. This one is coming in from, oh boy, this is a long question. This is coming in uh, from, uh, I'm not sure who, MD. But this is a long question out here. So, I'm going to come back and uh, read this during the break. Although, you're looking at ticker symbol. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do, because uh, that is a long email, so I don't want to read that on the air necessarily. So let's go to Hector and the fuel injectors. Hector wants to take a look at, good morning, happy Thirsty Thursday, back at you. Referring to your newsletter last night, made a, da, 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 when I got the socks equals, okay, so please work an A to B equals CD up on the weekly chart on the SMH for the SOC. So let's go take a look at the SMH. Everybody can pull up that ETF on their charts out here. So the SMH, as we take a look at it, uh, the A to B equals CD pattern, the one that uh, you know really sticks out longer term is the weekly. And on the weekly chart out here, why can't I get my, there we go. Come on, what the heck happened here? Oh, weird. Well, it must be the, wow, even it deleted the, okay. That's interesting. 
So let's go ahead and draw in the HB equals CD, Hector. No idea the NSA screwing around with my computer. The A point out here is March 16th of 2020. The B point, very clear where we see uh, price makes a change in trend. For me, that's on the fe week of February 15th, 2021. Pull back, pulls back into support of that bullish structured uh, weekly profile down into the March 8th time period. And the one, and so that B point, which was from February 15th, had volume of 14 million shares. That gets passed with 14.6 million shares. It's passed with the 18 million shares. So over the long haul, the SMHs on a weekly basis have a confirmed A to B equals CD to the upside that should take price to 378.73. But the question is what's going on on the daily time frame out here. So let's go ahead and let's, and we can see also that in the case of the SMHs, in order to make that move higher, they're gonna need on a weekly basis, a close above 318.82. 318.82 is the top of its weekly profile. 314.50 is the top of its daily profile. We'll finish reviewing the SMHs for Hector and Patty when we get back from this break. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So we're still looking at the SMHs for Hector and Patty out here. Now, when we take a look at the SMHs, first thing we notice, it has a road's momentum indicator top. That formed on November 22nd, much like uh, the markets out there. So not until that high gets taken out, Hector, will there be any kind of smooth sailing to the upside. What that road's momentum indicator signal then led to 
was a Gartley by pattern. A, there, I've got the blue line is the A to B point. Here's your C to D point. That gets confirmed with the Morning Star pattern, the Three River Morning Star. That took place uh, uh, two days ago. And now what Price is doing is trading with inside its daily profile. But it's also, as Hector pointed out, uh, there's a consolidation that's going on. So, Hector, not until Price closes over the high from the 22nd. That high for the 22nd is 318.82. Well, you get that measured move consolidation breakout. And what Hector's looking for, and you could also, and also that would be another A to B equals CD pattern that could be forming out here for the daily time frame. But first, price has to overcome that November 22nd high. If it's unable to do that, maybe like the markets, maybe we're in some kind of consolidation. And that's what the SMHs are signaling to you and I. So Hector and Patty, I hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for writing in this early in the uh, morning. The next question, we're going to go back to MD. So, uh, because it doesn't have a name associated with it, we're going to call it the doctor. And what the doctor wants to take a look at, really two different symbols. One is DP, uh, H, yeah, DPW. DPW. And maybe it was just pointing out something like, how about that move yesterday? Well, with regard to how about that move yesterday, uh, it was uh, just to get back inside a brand new daily profile. Now, the profile is pretty equally balanced. What I mean by that, doctor, is that the bottom or where support is at is 168. Resistance where sellers are at is 187, uh, 170, 187, sorry. 168 is the bottom. 187 is the top and the center is pretty much near the center, which is at 178. So price with inside this profile, if uh, DPW can uh, get above 178, it should go target the 187 area. Now the question is, uh, was there some type of bottom signal on the daily time frame out here? And as we take a look at this chart, um, I don't, the bottom signal would simply have been a retest of that uh, TD9 count pattern from back on October the 12th. And the question is, was price moving down and testing that on lighter volume? So was that DPW? Yeah, that was DPW. Why did that look different than this? Um, I'm kind of confused. Hold on a second here, if you would. That doesn't make any sense. One DPW chart doesn't look that. Wow. I am uh, confused because that takes us back to October. Wow. Let me uh, let me try re resetting. Re oh, I don't want to do that. Um, I'm going to pass on DPW right now, doctor, because, uh, oh, I, I mean, as far as I've, I've provided you what I can at this stage here, but my white background chart doesn't look anything like this black background chart. So I'm just going to move away from that. You had really called in or written in to ask about MTTR. So hopefully we don't have that same issue here. So MTTR, this is a Matterport trading right now just below the bottom of its bullish structured profile. So this could be signaling to us that it wants to move lower. So here's what we have when we take a look at this profile. And that is this formed a uh, bullish structured profile on the trading day of December the 3rd. And as it was forming, that price closed below it. And it did the very next day. So your counter trend resistance level is at the uh, 2753 area. Now, it could also be at the bottom, like uh, price rejected the bottom of its profile yesterday, 2627. But it's that 2753 that'll be a key area for you. If price can close above that, because it's a very wide profile, so again, it closed above 2753, certainly two consecutive closes would then suggest to move to 3508. Now, let me pull over my, my white background chart does look exactly like the black background chart. So here what we have is wave number seven, letter G. Part of the Chapman wave can be a top. At this stage here, it's proven to be a top. Now, if price is unable to close above here, what I'd say is 2841, but 2753, a key level out there. If price is unable to close above those areas, what we might be looking at is MTTR setting up an A to B equals CD to the downside that could or should take price into its breakout level, which is at 1562. So that's what the daily time frame chart is communicating to us. The weekly just doesn't have enough data out here for us to be able to provide any good technical symbol signals. So that's what we've got going with regard to MTTR. Sorry for the confusion on DPW. I'll have to try to figure out what's going on there, but uh, that'll have to be done after the uh, show. So let's go to the next request out here. This one coming in from David H. And this is David from Tomball, Texas. Wants to take a look at Exxon Mobil. So XOM is a ticker symbol out here. Let's get that uh, fired up. And let me get that going on my other charts out there. Please look at crude oil and Exxon Mobil. You're interested in the short term trading ranges um, and the OUL. 
on XOM. So if you take a look at, let's just start with X, Exxon Mobil. Price yesterday closed above the top of its daily profile, which was 62.43. It did it by two pennies, 62.45. A second close above 62.43 suggests higher price. Price is above the top of its weekly profile. That leaves us from a profile standpoint to ask the question, where is price going? And the answer would be 64.92. So another close today, David, above 62.43 suggests you move up to the 64.92 area. Now, let's go ahead and let's pull over Exxon Mobil, see what the white background charts can be. Nothing else is being communicated to you and I here. In this case, it suggests that price really needs to hold 62.23. That's its oscillator and change line. That's one of the things that you were looking for for Exxon Mobil. And that's the level on the daily time frame. A quick peek at the weekly chart. The weekly chart for Exxon shows a TD9 count. A Rhodes momentum indicator top, but prices held support, which was the top of that daily profile level. So 59.80 is a key area for Exxon Mobil to stay above. If it doesn't, then that sets up a message that we could see move back to about the 52.96 level. We don't have that message just yet, but those are the areas to be watching out there because then you would get your signal. With regard to light sweet crude, let's do this here. Uh, I'm going to switch panels. Uh, you won't see this. Uh, and this will be our multi time frame set of panels for lights we crude. But first, what we'll do before we go to those, we'll go to my black background quad patterns out here. And so for lights we crude, that should be just another one. There we go. Lights we crude. So this is going to give us daily, weekly, monthly and quarterly. So with regard to lights we crude. Uh, and this is really why David is asking about that is because of the directional correlation between it and the uh, energy sector, uh, such as ExxonMobil. So Lightspeed Crude has found resistance at the top of its daily profile, and that's at 72.51. So if price can close above 72.51, ExxonMobil presumably should continue to move higher as well. What else can we say about Lightspeed Crude? Really not much. Price is up in that resistance level. So let's go change panels here. Let's go to our eight panel multi time frame set of charts out there. And in the upper left hand side, the signal here is that Lightspeed Crude wants to head higher. Why do you say that, Steve-O? It's had a TD9 count top that formed in July of 2021. That basically got negated in um, October of 2021. And now all price has done is pull back to test that green oscillator and change line. That had changed colors back in the uh, May of 2021 time period. This is a bullish message. Now, the month is not over. Now, this is the continuous contract that we're looking at for the uh, monthly time frame. But that message is bullish. If we look at the weekly chart, Forms a TD9 count top, price pulls right back to support, the breakout level at 66.35. You see, I don't draw these lines in here, folks. This is why you want to learn, you want to use these tools. The TD9 count, I teach that. You subscribe to Mastering Probability, and voila, you've got eight or nine different workshops to go take a look at. One is the TD9 count pattern. In the case of the daily time frame, I don't have a bottoming signal. Now, in the white background charts I do, it shows a bullish engulfing candle that would then confirm an A to B equals CD downside, but that's really not the candle that actually formed. I've got a problem here inside of Ninja Trader for that specific. But with regard to the uh, other intraday charts out here, I'd say watch that five hour chart. You can see the five hour chart prices testing that oscillator and change line after changing colors. That key level at 71.29. The price closes below that. We'd likely see a further move lower in light speed crude. Folks, stay tuned. We'll be back in about three or four minutes. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value 
or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. If you are listening live, it's 8.42 in the morning. Thanks so much for doing that. Uh, we'll not be able to record a show tomorrow. We'll be back uh, at Monday at uh, 1 p.m. to do the 1 p.m. update and then the uh, Trader's Ed show at the normal programming time. The next question that has come in, it's in fact, I think it's the last question that has come in at this stage here is from Alex. And Alex has uh, gone long Alibaba. But his question is, do we see a bottom? And the answer is we do, at least on the daily time frame. And that bottom is an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. That bottom formed a couple of days ago with the uh, bullish reversal candle that was on December the 6th out here. Now what price is dealing with, I'm going to get rid of that A to B equals CD pattern. So you've got a valid bottoming signal. Price is trading with inside its bullish structure daily profile. Odds favor, Alex, that price should go target the top of that profile, 136.76. That's your, res that's your resistance area. If price can close above that, we should see higher price. Higher price to where? I'd say 159.18. That's the bottom of its weekly profile. Support would be at 111.51. That's the bottom of that daily profile. <clears throat> As we take a look at the monthly time frame chart, boy, you've got a gargantuan A to B equals CD to the downside. That could be completing this month. Right now, and it's only the ninth, right? You've got a hammer candle. So you really need to see what the camel what the camel, what the candle is at the end of the month, but you've got the potential there. Now I do see a piercing candle that formed here a couple months back. This is on October the 1st, the, week, the month of October, I should say, and uh, that clearly failed. So let's pull over the white background chart, see if there's some other information that we can gleam here. So let's just start with the monthly time frame chart since I happen to be there. You got a breakout level at $100 and two pennies. This went ahead and negated his TD nine count pattern. It did that last month. Um, but you've got that A to B equals CD, and you've got an oscillator and change line that has changed colors. So that's promising. Uh, Alex, of course, we don't know what this uh, final chart is going to look like at the end of the month. The weekly chart out here shows a Rhodes momentum indicator signal. Now, if you were to get a bullish reversal candle this month, right now it's just an inside bar, that would be nice to add to the bottom. Uh, right now, resistance is at 135.62, so you'd like to see price close above that. So the monthly and weekly say there's potential, but nothing has been confirmed there. And on the daily time frame, what was the A to B equals CD pattern that we looked at out here? Um, you see price has made its way back to its oscillator and change line, which has been resistant. So you'd really like to see price close above it. And it is 124.94 out there. So thanks so much for writing in. Alex, best of luck to you on the uh, trade out here. It does look like it wants to move higher. I'd say on that daily basis, uh, you really want to see price get above that red oscillator unchanged line. So thanks so much for writing in. Uh, I take it back. We do have some other questions out here. Nope, uh, we don't. That was just a thank you for covering the uh, earlier request. And you're welcome. And that was uh, Marie, I believe, that... Uh, I uh, had uh, written in. Uh, yeah, it was. Okay. So let's do this here. 
Uh, now that we've got the request out of the way, and, and we'll take more, most certainly, uh, but let's go back. What do we want to do here? Let's go uh, take a look at the uh, markets and see what's going on intraday. Now, how do we want to do this? Um, how do we want to do this? Well, there are a couple of requests that have come in. So I, 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 before I do that, I'll go to those requests out here while we have some time. So uh, the first request coming in from SNP, let's take a look at Roblox, L R B L X out there. And so let's get that fired up here, RBLX. And uh, this is trading with inside its uh, daily profile, closed yesterday above the center of that bullish structure profile, 122.17. So SNP, another close today above 122.17, would suggest to move to 141.60. Um, is there any other piece of information that will be helpful to SNP? And there he is, price closed also just above its green oscillator and change line yesterday, 123.80. So a second close above that would really suggest that price makes its way to that 141.60 level. We do sh see a shooting star candle from November 30th. So you do have resistance between 137.71 and 141.60 out there. And that is on ticker symbol RBLX. Hope that helps you out. Dan in Boston wants to take a look at uh, MSGR, MSGR. Let me get that fired up, MSGR, and see what this is. MS Messenger of some sort, uh, MRNA ETF. Oh, interesting, MSGR. So why am I not getting any data? Hmm. Well, uh, Boston, you're, uh, you, I, is this a brand new symbol? Brand new today. Ah, okay. Well, I can't really do a whole lot. Uh, so uh, if you're asking me where is it headed from here, well, based on this set of charts here, uh, I don't have a clue out there. But uh, thanks for the request. Maybe let's take a look at that on uh, Monday, uh, if you will. And uh, so no idea. Uh, but interesting, that is a interesting ETF out there. We'll certainly want to uh, track uh, that one. Uh, so now let's go back to the intraday time frame chart. So give me a moment to get uh, these charts rolling here. Uh, well, let's just first go look at the 30 minute charts. We can always switch panels. We can go take a look at the each equity future contract separately. And uh, here, so when we, we, you know, so right now the equity futures are trading lower. You've got the Dow down by 120. Uh, the NASDAQ off 58, the ES Mini 15, and the Russell 15 as well. But the question is, what does that mean? So we take a look at the 30-minute time frame charts. Well, we know for the ES Mini, that means that price is testing its most recent breakout level, and that's at 46.78, and that is holding. Now, you can also see resistance. That's that oscillator and change line. That's at about 46.86, a 30-minute time frame chart. No bottoming signal, but a bottoming signal can be price is simply pulling back to support. That's why we want these objective breakout levels, because they... No one, no one inside TFNN, including myself, no one would have chosen 46.78 as the breakout level. Everybody would have gone back to the swing point from two bars prior to that. Now, does it make a difference? You know, on a short-term time frame chart, yeah, it does make a difference because it is what it is. We want to be consistent with regard to how we take a look at uh, markets and read the markets. All I'm doing, I'm just the narrator, just narrating these tools to you. They're just we use them the same way. So price is holding now. If price closed below 46.78, there's likely an A to B equals CD to the downside that is uh, forming out here, or price could simply be targeting its next breakout level. The next breakout level is at 46.24. Now, we do know at 46.67, because we looked at the daily time frame when we began the show, that that is the next key level of support. So 46.78, if that fails, 46.67. And if 46.67 fails, then we're looking at 46.49, maybe below that. But right now, as we speak, at 8.49 in the morning, yes, U.S. equity futures are lower. Yes, the ES Mini is down by 15 points, but it's testing a key level of support. In the case of the NQ, no bottoming pattern, per se. No A to B equals CD to the downside that is completed. Oh, I take that back, Steve-O. There is a buy the D point. There's a Gartley buy pattern. Here it is. So I'll just draw on the A to B point. That's this. And then we're just simply going to go ahead and move this over. And oops, didn't mean to move over the whole chart. And for that, from that evening star, there's our C to D leg. This is an extension out here. Here's your bullish engulfing candle. So that says the key level of support for it is really 1630225. But you and I know that there's also breakout level of support at 1628875 area. But right now, the NQ has generated a Gartley buy pattern. What the NQ needs to do, and it has not done, 
is close above its oscillator and change line. That would be 16,342. If it can do that, you should expect and anticipate the NQ would go ahead and move up to 16,368. Above 16,368, you're back off to the highs from uh, yesterday, maybe another attack at the top of that daily profile. Uh, so you've got the confirmed buy pattern, but uh, price has been unable to take out that key level of resistance. That's that red oscillator and change line. The Dow. It's testing support. It's breakout level of 35,621. The Russell 2000, I don't have really a good read on it. Its breakout area is all the way down to 2211. That's what's going on on the 30 minute charts for the U.S. equity futures contracts. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN educating investors are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. We've got a request from Bob A to take a look at Walmart. WMT is the ticker symbol. That's what's up on the screen. A uh, price yesterday, uh, Bob, finding support at the bottom of its bullish structured profile, 136.50 uh, out there. Uh, and when we look at the weekly time frame chart, it's really a very clear consolidation pattern, or at least it's very clear to me. Price also this week and last week finding support at the bottom of its weekly profile. So what you have out here is you have a consolidation pattern that would lead to a measured move. I would say that if if price closes below uh, the uh, low of uh, 134.71, um, the other level might be one. Yeah, I'd say that's the, that's the, wait a minute, that doesn't make sense. 149, 140, hold on. 
telling you to hold on. Uh, 14003, one, yeah, 134.71. It closed below 134.71, uh, which suggests that the consolidation is broken and then you'd have a measured move equal to or greater than that consolidation. Now, as we look at the white background charts out here for Walmart, do we, oh, geez, did I really delete that? I did. So Stevie deleted that. And what that means here is um, that means what? That means I can get it going here, WMT, uh, the uh, ticker symbol. And I'm just going to look at the daily time frame. And so when we take a look at Walmart, the other key area where Walmart would need to close above. So I see it's straight into a swing point. I don't know if it's light volume or not. We're going to go check on that. But 139.88 is a key level that price would need to close above. So as price was pulled, just trying to get a feel, is a signaling that it's going to consolidation remain. So 9.9 .9 million shares back on October the 4th. When we were down here a couple of days ago, it was with, well, with, was, was with volume, 13 million shares. And yesterday was 11.4 million. It's really, uh, it's really trying to tackle that October 4th swing point. So that 134.71 is going to be a real key level for you to watch and observe, Bob. But at this stage here, support is held. You've got the buyers. You've got the bottom of the daily in the weekly profile. If they can't hold it, boy, it would be generating a significant message to you. Folks, stay tuned. Tommy O'Brien is up next if you're listening at 9. And David White is up next if you're listening at 1 o'clock. Again, I'll be back with you on Monday. Have a fantastic weekend, folks. Thanks so much for being here.